Welcome back. This is on how to start blogger blogs. Part one. We're going to first look at how to set up your privacy settings. Okay, if you cannot remember how to get into your blogger account, clicking on the blogger link here will help you. However, another way to do it is look at the Google Apps. Up here shows mine. They're colorful. Others might show it over on another screen on Google. And you also should have it at the bottom of your screen. In here they do not show all of my apps that I'm linked to. If I need to find the app for it, I can go further out. However, if I remember right, Okay, I go into my google.com link and it's hard to see on this background. That should be my apps. There it is. Right here. Okay. This is the windows that will open up Google apps. Okay, there's your docs, your sheets, your slides, the drive. Keep going down, it's asking you if you want to add a shortcut. Well, I forgot to add the shortcut from the blogger, so I can go even more. Okay, I'm going to look for that blogger app. We can either scroll down and look for it, or hit Control F and type in blogger. Oh, it already jumped me right there. So click on the blogger here. Once you've opened this app two or three times, it will put it as a sh one of the short ones that you can connect to. Okay, so that if you collect it on your app's windows, it would become a faster way to get to your blog. If you're returning from creating a blog and you've closed out the window, this is what you might see when you look, log into Blogger at home. If you are to do a new blog, right now I already have this blog created. But let's say I want to do a new one. Oh, I sorry, forgot. Back up. Okay. We want to make your social studies learning blog secure. Okay. Because we will be posting, first, for example, your first artifact. We'll have your name and your pictures and things like that. Okay, I clicked while I was talking and you did not pay attention, so I'm going to go back. And I apologize for clicking and just doing without explaining. Right here we go. Okay. You're going to take your mouse to the drop-down arrow right here next to... It says more options. That is with your new blog, Social Studies Learning Log. Okay. Go on down. And you can see at the very bottom it says settings. That will get you to the page for the settings. Okay. This is the settings for the Social Studies Learning Log. In here, I've already chosen to have it say settings. That's what I chose in the free previous window. That's where you're at now. In the settings area, there is what's called permissions. Okay. There's your title, your description. You can add more of a description about what this assignment is about. Your privacy. Oh, yes, that's what we want. Okay. Go to edit. Add your blog to our list. Yes or no? Let's not. Let search engines find your blog. Again, I said that you are going to be in private mode because of your under 13 age information and you need parents' permissions. Okay? So I click no on both of those. Later on in your life, you can open it up, and yes, you may have it. Going on. Permissions, down here. Blog authors, blog readers. 
Right now, mine is set for public. If I click the edit button, and that was down here at the bottom, blog readers, if I click the edit button, I can now choose from three different options. To be open for public, be private, only one blog author is allowed to look at it and read it, or be private and allow these readers. You will select the private, but allow these readers. First of all, you're going to look for readers. The first one is going to be Mrs. Pagilia. So we're going to add readers. I will be gathering up an email list for you to send out to add. For now, we're not going to put any readers in there but Mrs. Pagilia. And you can do that by choosing from contacts or typing in my email address, mytfsd.org, and then hit Save Changes. If you already know that you want some peers, some of your friends, to be part of your reading support for the blog, you can choose from your contacts such as your directory or all contacts. This pulls up everything that I have and this is from all the people that I have connections from. Okay. Or you can search for somebody. Let me type in Jones and it will pull up all the people that have Jones in their name. So maybe I don't know one or the other of my peers' names, and I could put it in there. You'd click the box. As you see, it went right down here at the bottom. When you're done, you're going to save the group. For now, I'm not going to do that because mine is still public. And I'm going to hit Save Changes. That is how to set the safety or the security of your blog. Okay, let's learn about new blogs and how to get started with that. I will start the next video so you don't have to zoom through this part again and we'll get going.